So how this works, we have in our uh, resource group, we have a key vault. And within that key vault, we have set up all the all the settings currently. Um, there's not much in here yet. Um, we have that in a different key vault at the moment, but we'll, but we'll uh, transfer that to this particular key vault. Um, and, but what this piece of code here does, so when we start up our web application or web API, we're gonna add an additional source to our config configuration. Um, and we are gonna add the Azure key vault as a source. And that's gonna point to the Azure key vault um, as it has been configured. And it's gonna use this particular key vault client to be able to access the, the secrets in the key vault. And we're gonna use the Azure Service Token Provider um, for the authentication. And what this does is uh, it will use the managed identity of the uh, the web app the, of the app service to authenticate to our key vault. Um, and for local development, it will use my currently signed in user. So that's me. And it will try to authenticate using that. So let's check if that's gonna, it's, it's configured correctly. So first in this app service, we're gonna check if we have enabled the managed identity. So we go to the app service and then on the left, we select the identity. And as you'll notice, it's turned on and this created an, uh, an app registration in Active Directory uh, with this particular ID. So this, this is good. Um, the other thing is that we need to configure in our configuration, the name of the key vault. So here's the key vault name. And as you'll notice in our source code, uh, we expect that to be there. And we use that to build the URL to the key vault. And it's set to Common Connect DST. And that indeed is the name of our key vault. So company connect TST. So that's good. Then we need to ensure that uh, we have set up an access policy so that the web app can actually connect to the key vault. And over here, you, you can tell that I have added the application and I've gave it, I gave it permissions to get and list all the secrets. And that's the two permissions that it needs. So that looks to be completely in order. 